welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We're here in Auckland, New Zealand with Alice Leonard from Angel Food. Hi, thank you for having me again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rich gold carrot spread and a black bean chilli and we're going to serve it in a pita pocket with some salad greens. Yum! Okay, so let's have a look at the ingredients. Okay. Okay, so the main ingredient obviously is carrots. These are some beautiful organic carrots. 400 grams is what you need, and that's about two medium large carrots. I've peeled them and sliced them thickly, so that's ready to go in the steamer. Then we've got our seasonings. This is a teaspoon of shakar, which is an unprocessed form of sugar. So it's still got all the nutrients from the sugar cane in it. Um, but you, you can use any kind of sweetener. You could use agave nectar or um, crystallized sugar, whatever you like, demerara, might be nice. Then this is just a generous pinch of salt. half a teaspoon of ground cumin seed and two tablespoons of tomato paste which um, adds a richness and depth of flavour to the spread and that's all the ingredients and there's no added fat so it's a really healthy one and lots of fibre in it. Okay the only cooking required for this dish is to steam the carrots so I'll put them in, I've got my steamer ready, I'll just put them in and they take about 10 minutes to be tender enough to um, process smoothly. Okay, the carrots are done, so we'll bring them over here and put them into the food processor. And then it's just a matter of adding all our seasonings in with carrots and pureeing them. Okay, I'm just going to um, push the, um, the carrot down so it all gets processed. It's best to do this without adding any liquid, but um, you may need, depending on how juicy the carrots are, you may need to add a little of the steaming water to get it all to mix nicely. Alright, so that's done. Well that's a really rich colour isn't it? It is a beautiful colour. Um, the carrots and the tomato together make a really intense orange colour and to me intense colours in food mean lots of nutrients which is a good thing. Yeah. And because we haven't added any oil to it it's a really healthy um, spread and it looks and the colour means that it looks really good if you're serving food to other people and presentation is important. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's also a very versatile dish. You can um, use it as a spread like we're going to today. You could um, maybe thin it down with a little steaming water and serve it as a sauce on the side of um, a meal. You can use it as a dip with um, toasted pita bread or taco chips, something like that. Mm. And if you want to make it more creamy, um, it's really nice if you add some soaked cashews, just maybe half a cup of cashews, soak them for half an hour, drain off the water and put that into the blender with the other ingredients oh, and yeah. it's a really, um, really nice dip or spread. Mm, yeah. Okay, well we're just going to go outside and take a breath of the crisp mere, so we'll see you soon. So now Alice is going to show us how to make the black bean chilli. Okay, here are our ingredients. Okay, this is one can of organic black beans which I've drained. 
and a can of crushed tomatoes. You can also use um, fresh tomatoes, obviously, would be good. But since it's not tomato season here, I prefer to use canned. Um, whole t canned tomatoes or chopped would be fine as well. And then we have the spices. This is a tablespoon of ground cumin. This is ground, but you can also use whole cumin seeds. They're really nice. Tablespoon of oregano. A teaspoon of paprika. And you can use smoked paprika if you've got that. That would be nice. And half a teaspoon of fresh chilli. Uh, you could also use chilli paste or dried chilli. And that's it. The first thing to do is just to toast the herbs and spices, the cumin, the paprika and the oregano. So if you want to put all those in the pot for me and I'll turn the heat on. Okay, so that's without any oil? No oil, yeah. We just want them to um, toast and that somehow releases the, um, the fragrance and the flavour and makes much more impact in the dish. Mm. So you want to, they do burn quite easily so just keep stirring them around and once you get, smell the um, fragrance coming off them, they're done. It'll only take about a minute. This is my favourite thing to cook at the moment. Okay, I think that's done. Okay, and then we're just going to add the black beans. If you want to put the tomato in. It smells Thank you. really good. Yeah, let's get that out. Great. And then the chilli. And you can use more or less chilli depending on how spicy you like things. So I'll just mix that together and then I'm going to put it on the stove and simmer it for about half an hour and all the flavours will mingle really nicely. So the chilli's cooked now. Yep, it? it's all ready to go. And I'll just add a little salt now. I like to add salt right at the end of the cooking um, because sometimes you discover you didn't actually need any or just a smaller amount than specified oh, okay. in the recipe. Depends how salty the um, beans are in the tomato. Just right. mix that in. And that's ready to use. So the um, chilli, you could, we often have this at home served with brown rice or um, quinoa. It's also good as a dip with taco chips, just like the carrot spread is. Mm -hmm. and, but today we're going to use it as a pita pocket filling. So they're really good for picnic lunches. Um, and if you make them in small pita pockets, you could do, you know, cut them in quarters. They're good as um, snacks at a party. Mm. Oh, yum. Okay. So I've got my wholemeal pita bread here. I'm cutting it in half lengthwise because then it's easiest to get the filling in it. Oh, good idea. Okay, so first thing is to spread this and the colour, the um, flavour of the carrot spread and the black beans works really well together. Oops, hard to catch. There we go. So just spread it and you. Make sure it spreads right up to the top edge so that you can see it once you've got all the other fillings in there. And then, do you want to put some of the leaves in? Put some of this baby spinach. Yes, yep. And, yep, that's great. Yeah, yeah maybe one down here with the, the stalk poking down. Yep. It's good. There. Yeah. Okay, great. And some alfalfa? Yes. Sprouts. Sprouts are really nutritious. And really easy to grow at home. Is that enough? Thank you, yeah, that looks good. And then I'll just put a dollop of this on top. Yeah, my mouth's watering. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Okay. I'll put yeah. that on the plate and it'll all fall out. Great. Can we do another one? Yes. Um, you can make these about an hour ahead, maybe two hours from when you're going to eat them, and um, just cover them with a damp cloth, 
and then put them in a plastic bag in the fridge. Okay. Way to keep them fresh. Okay, some spinach. Some more spinach. And if you like, try and get it kind of poking out the top a bit, oh, okay, it looks so nice can... and abundant. Okay. Yep, like that. great. Abundant yes, enough. yes, that yeah. looks good. And more alfalfa. Lovely. All right. Okay. And I'll, I'll just pack it down a little. And some black beans. Okay. I'm just going to tap it down so there we go. All right. Oh, lovely. And shall we garnish that with some of the leaves? Oh, yeah. yeah, I've got some coriander leaves that I want to. Chop okay. and sprinkle on the top because that's a really. If you're serving um, the black bean chili over rice or um, some other grain, you can um, put the coriander leaves, either sprinkle them over the top or um, mix it in to the pot. Mm. Oh, you want to do? Thank you. So I'll just stand them up. There we go. Mm, it's a bit of colour and a lovely mm, aroma. The scent is fantastic. Mm. That looks really delicious. I would okay. love to try that. And so would I. I'm pretty hungry. Should we go and eat outside on the deck? Great idea. Let's go. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful day. We need to try our pita pockets. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, that is that is delicious. No, yeah, very tasty. Mm. Yeah. And the coriander on top just adds that little bit of something extra. The beans and the carrot is really creamy and delicious. I love it. Good. We Good. Like this at home. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us today on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We hope to see you again another time. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.